Oh, we will read the grammar section and in this section we have we now we are going to study about the parts of the speech. So are you all prepared about it? Yes, sir. Okay. Can we start? Yes, sir. Thank you. This is the grammar section which I have written in front of you on the blackboard. In grammar section, we are going to start from the parts of the speech. So our first question is our first question is how many parts of the speech? You can also ask them how many parts of the speech are there. That's correct. So we have written here as how many parts of the speech? Answer is there are eight parts of the speech. There are eight, eight parts of the speech. Then question arises, what are they? Answer is they are noun. N O U N. Noun. Noun means isn. Noun means isn. Second is pronoun. P R O N O U N. Pronoun means Zamir. Third one is adjective A D J E C T I V E. Adjective means second. Fourth one is verb. Verb means pair. Fifth one is eight verb. Eight verb means verb. And sixth one is preposition. Preposition means adjective. Seventh one is conjunction. Conjunction means adjective. And eighth one is interjection. Interjection means adjective. Once again. Question is how many parts of the speech? Answer: There are eight parts of the speech. What are they? They are noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Isim, zami, sifat, fai. Our next question is what is noun? Now in this section we have to study about the definition of noun. And then the question is what is noun? Answer is a noun is the name of person, comma place, comma thing, an animal, state, or quality, or an action. Once again, what is noun? A noun is the name of a person, comma place, comma thing, an animal, state, or quality. Now, here the, uh, the, these things are written here. First, the uh, example. First is persons. What are the persons? Persons like Mosam, Kainat, Yasmin, Pitsi. Then the place. Place. So we have uh, read about the place. Then one of the places, places like school, like Gotha, like hospital. Then the uh, things, things like book, like pen, like chair, like jar, like fan, like pencils. And fourth one is animals, animals like horse, like cow, like buffalo, uh, like cat. And for the fifth one is quality, state and quality. What are the states? States means halat. State means halat like poverty, gurbatahi, richness, amiri ahi, shaukari ahi, garibi ahi. These are the these are included in states. And then the quality. What are the qualities like whiteness, cleverness? These are the qualities. Kasyatu, mushari ahi, sutari ahi. Means they are included in merits. Then the action, action is movement and construction. Once again, what is noun? Noun is the name of noun is the name of person, person, comma place, comma thing, and animals, state, or quality, or action. Examples: persons like Yosem, like Kaina, like Jasmine, uh, like uh, Aliza, uh, like. Uh, uh, Adil, like you need, uh, you can uh, name the person, any one you can name. And then the places, places like this school, author, past teachers, etc. Things like book, pen, pencil, shop, chair, 
then the animals like horse, cow, goat, then the quality like whiteness, cleverness, uh, then the state like poverty, richness, action, movement, and consumption. Then the oh, let me how to study about the kinds of cloud. First portion we will study about the uh, how many parts of the speech, there are eight parts of the speech, we will read about the names of the parts of the speech. Then the second portion, portion we have written uh, the definition of the noun and uh, the examples which are included in the definition. And the fourth, uh, third portion, uh, our third portion discusses on the kinds of noun. Mainly there are the five kinds of noun. Mainly there are the five oh, kinds of noun. One of them, they are proper noun, common noun, collect noun, material noun, and respect noun. Proper noun, common oh, noun, respect noun, material noun, collection noun. The mean, meaning of these uh, uh, kinds. First one is proper noun. Proper noun means it's in first. Second one is common noun. Common noun means it's in all. The third one is abstract noun means it's in some. And fourth one is material noun means it's in two. And fifth one is collective noun means it's in So uh, tomorrow we will read about the definitions of these kinds of noun. Okay.